Good evening. I'm hoping to be inducted into the St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletics Hall of Fame, and I'm honored to be included with tonight's group of inductees and be able to be recognized along with tonight's other winners. I'm especially grateful to be honored alongside good friends, Coach Bill Killen and Dr. Doug Faulkner. It is hard to believe I began my association with the conference over 25 years ago in the conference's first years. Former Westminster AD and Coach Jim McEwen introduced me to conference founder and 2002 Hall of Fame inductee Dave Pierce, who was introduced earlier. Dave hired me as conference information director, and I worked out of my home. For those of you who rely on modern technology, back in the dark ages, we got our work done using WordPerfect, a hand calculator, a telephone, and a fax machine. My things have changed. Fortunately, I was able to return to my alma mater, Westminster, and serve as a publicist, radio voice of Blue Jay football, athletics director, and assistant professor of sports management. But it was not without help. Three extremely important individuals in my career have passed away, and I'd like to remember them. Walt Schonke, the conference's first commissioner and 1993 Hall of Fame inductee, Jack Traeger, longtime coach and athletic director at Greenville, and Lee McKinney, coach and AD at Fontbonne, and a 2011 Hall of Fame inductee, all provided me inspiration and guidance throughout my career. I know these gentlemen are missed, and I'm sorry they couldn't be here tonight. And I'm sorry I don't have time to mention the many other individuals who have positively impacted my career. Having spent 17 years at my alma mater, I had the opportunity to help build the foundation of the current department. And I'm extremely grateful for the work of all the coaches and staff who are part of the Blue Jay family. My first hire as director of athletics was Matt Mitchell. Over the years, <laughs> you know, over the years, we spent a great deal of time solving both real and imagined problems. Imagine that. But most importantly, it is great for me to see how Matt has been able to continue the progress we began in the late 90s and take Blue Jay athletics to even greater levels of success. And you saw some of those awards, because I know what it takes to achieve those awards. For me, it's all about family, whether it's my personal family, the coaching family, administrative family, Westminster, or the conference. And last but not least, I want to thank my wife, Evelyn, who supported me throughout my entire career.